somewhere I saw you talking about like uh, being a food critic. Yeah. Is that something that you've included in the brand or that's like a solo thing that you do? That that's just my thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's apart from the brand. And yeah. how is that though? How does that work? Um like I, you go to restaurants, do food reviews, take out. No, I don't do reviews. Mm-hmm. I I don't even post my reviews like uh-huh. I don't even know it's we in just the talk bio. About them. <laughs> Why? We it's just it's talk in the bio. Them. <laughs> I have to ask. The questions yeah, are there. Uh-huh. There's a time I did a review on Twitter and where I was yeah. dragged. Because <laughs> of your review? Yeah, I had a bad experience. We had a bad experience. Yeah. And mm. we did a review, just innocently, just tweeted it and then it blew up. Yeah. Yeah. And guys are saying, like, uh, we are trying to destroy the business. But, like, that's our ex- experience. No, it's just, it's honest, just post. Yeah, honest review. Opinion. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and also, like, just let's say in general, because mm-hmm. even if the food critic thing is there, like yeah. in your bio, it must be there for a reason. Yeah. So that's why I'll ask probably in general, what do you think about, like, just the service industry when, because I'm guessing if it's mm-hmm. there, you're also, like, going out to yeah. just dine and have an experience like yeah, the two yeah, of you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something I think if you think about it properly, you can still incorporate it in your company as well. Actually, you just yeah. never know. Yeah. Right? never know because one of my first gigs also it was like just doing restaurant reviews mm. and i'm talking about restaurant reviews like this is six seven years ago oh. mm. yeah back then they used to pay us to do food reviews you know nowadays, nowadays, nowadays it's free, free on tiktok they <laughs> give you food <laughs> yeah, yeah you get, nowadays you get free food get but, free but food. it used to be good because i think uh there's a time they used to give us there's a time it was like 10 g's 10 g's and then there's some places they were giving even like 20 G's. That's really Just good for money. A review. What? For a food review. Mm. Wow. But today, mm-mm-mm. no, <laughs> demand and supply. <laughs> if you have too many people who are doing reviews, yeah. then you also have to, and I think that's also one thing that people don't have to understand. Like the more the industry gets like cramped with a lot of people, you have to do something that's really different. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you have to charge the same rate. You can't That's overcharge true. people yeah. when you can just do provide the same yeah. as what other people are doing. Because they can easily just pick someone else. Yeah. 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 You want 100, and for 100, we can get... Five dancers. Five, 10, 10 <laughs> people. Because yeah. pe- think yeah. about it this way. And I'm always saying, like, social media is, like, also a very interesting industry, but you have to be on your toes because kids are finishing school every year. And you have to understand, like, creative minds, uh, I think most creative people, most creative people, and, you know, you can quote me if you want, like, when you're younger, you can be more creative. That's yeah. true. The more responsibilities, like, bills and other things start coming to you. <laughs> yeah. As much as you want to be creative, you're still thinking about too many things. Like, That's okay, how true. much are we making from this? Yeah. But when you see kids who get together on Sunday and go to town and they're just dancing... Yeah. And they're doing like 50 TikToks. Do you think you can compete with that kid to Never. put out content? Not at all. <laughs> Never. Impossible. Not at all. They don't need to get paid and they're pumping out like yeah. 50 videos in yeah. a week. So you can't compete with that. Let's just start with that. So I think more creative minds are like when you're young, not our, or unless you're in a space where like you're really, really financially free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you can wake up in the morning and now do. Focus just they on focus on just content, being you know. Creative, yes. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But so now, like, even just for you guys, before we go back to the food thing, like, how do you make sure that, uh, okay, do you feel the pressure of, like, maybe the new generation, like we've said, that's coming in, and they're always pumping out, like, content and getting calls in? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's so crazy. I've never, I've never really thought about it. I've never been like, oh, my God, there's this new generation coming up, and brands are going to be... Like mm, looking yeah. for them, I've never really felt that pressure. I I don't know. Maybe I just believe in myself too you, much. I feel if your content is just good, yeah. it will find its audience. Yeah, true. Yeah, no matter how crowded the market is, I think it will always find its way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but I think there's always someone looking for what you can provide. Yeah, that's true. That's yeah. true. I, but for me, I think I, that's true. But also for me, I think I always look at what young people are doing, especially the ones who are not doing it for money. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because I'm just like, okay, this is interesting. This mm-hmm. is catchy. This is just figure out like, okay, how young minds operate. Because I yeah. know and I understand that feeling of when I'm not thinking about money when I'm creating something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm doing it in the 2 a.m., 3 a.m. so that I can just post mm-hmm. it in yeah. the morning. That feeling, like right now, I can chase it, but I can't find it. Very, <laughs> very unfortunate. <laughs> very unfortunate. <laughs> it's completely different. But yeah, just I was asking about like what you guys think about like the service industry in general when you just mm-hmm. go out to to dine, eat your food. Um, I think there's been like a transition. Mm. I don't know when it happened, but there's been a transition where, you know, a lot of restaurants are focusing on being more Instagrammable and having like a, a nice space where you can take nice, beautiful pictures. Yeah. And they forget about the service and they forget about the food. Like the reason you start a restaurant is so you can provide good food, yeah. good service and a good experience. So I feel like if a restaurant has good food, yeah. the aesthetics are there and the service is top notch, it's gonna do very well. It will. Yeah. Because nowadays, like, also people would go to restaurants because they've seen it on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. But then again, you try out the food. First of all, forget the food. The service. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, ah. you know, when a restaurant, like, invites an influencer, of course, they're going to get yeah. good, service good, good service and good food. So yeah. they can have a good review to post on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And you, the normal people... <laughs> you go there and then you're like, hey, Kwani, why? Me thought the experience supposed to be different. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's so crazy because when you see other people who like even do often food reviews, but they haven't been sent by the official owner or invited. Yeah. And they're saying like, yo, the service was so slow or we sat outside there. There's a lady who does like actually really good reviews, but I was saying, and I don't know which restaurant she went to, but you know how you can pick like a balcony area where you have a nice view. Yeah. And then she just kept saying, she, she kept doing this <laughs> by the way. And then you know at times you have those waiters who are like actually yeah. been looking at you and then they're like, ah, oh, this guy now, this guy. Because <laughs> anyway, for my case, I've said enough times, like I, in Kenya, I expect bad service or treatment in a restaurant Whoa. until you prove otherwise. But, but when I walk in like one. this, I have to, like, in my mind, I'm like, I'm going to get bad service. Already? Yeah. Already. In my head, I already know. Until now, somebody proves me wrong. Like, mm-hmm. I think there's a time I went, where was it? Uh, maybe I need to change that mindset. But it's just because I had too many bad experiences. Yeah. And I was just like, ah, these people. Not unless you've been invited. Yeah. Now they treat you well yeah, and everything. They obviously treat you well when they invite yeah. you. I think, where was it? Uh, either at Village Market or somewhere. Like, I'd just gone to meet a friend and ask for food and I think the waiter came and you know already I just took them he brought the menus and took the menu the first thing I'm already saying like yo I know already what I want so I was just straight ahead going to the food and then he was like so how, how was your day by the I was like yeah wait what <laughs> what do you mean how was my day in fact I took it like an answer I'm so used to bad service that too. he said like no 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 he was like yeah, yeah. he was like no no I'm just you know I'm just saying hi to you I want to know how, is day good do you need some water before you wow. and I was just it took me off guard I was just like yo the PTSD yeah I was like out. I had to apologize first of all I was like yo me just wanted to eat food talk mm-hmm. to my friend and bounce by the way I didn't come here for any other extra needs but mm-hmm. I'm just saying in general I don't think the service is that good. Yeah. And we see it online. Even when somebody is saying, like, you know, they've gotten bad service. At times, it's not like the owner of the restaurant. That's what he's yeah, instructed people. Yeah. But it's the people that have been employed there. Exactly. People yeah. who are, come, you know, like maybe it's minimum wage they are getting. Yeah. And probably somebody has, like, their own personal issues yeah. from home. So you know how you can get at a place and the receptionist yeah. already is already you already yeah. know like today like yo, <laughs> how am I even supposed yeah. to get through this? Yeah, somebody, but the boss doesn't know that. Exactly. So I think at times maybe restaurant owners you should just take time and just look at the people like you're putting at the forefront. Actually, now I'm yeah. actually realizing like why I was kind of dragged for my review on Twitter because mm-hmm. people took it as an attack towards the owner of the yeah it's not restaurant. about the owner no it's not food. about the owner it's Mm-mm. it was 
about yeah. the food and the food. about the service. Yeah, food and delivery. We, we posted the the platter we saw on Instagram. <laughs> and what Versus you got? What, what you got? Uh, come if you on. See yeah, it, you oh. see now. Mm. Yeah. Because maybe when they are doing like their platter thing, they call a professional food photographer, yeah. studio lighting, lighting and nini. Photoshop, yeah. color grading. I, I don't think uh, they should be editing food photos. Yeah. yeah. Just raw. Like, you're giving the wrong impression. Yes. Because if I don't see what you posted now, you can't tell me by there. I'm, you know, I'm just telling it like it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if I was to ask you guys maybe three top three restaurants that maybe have had good service. We won't say the bad ones because you know that you know. Yeah, we don't want the smoke. We don't want issues. We don't want issues. <laughs> Let's focus on the good ones. Yeah. So maybe the good ones that you've had a good experience and mm. three that you've had a good experience and maybe three that you are looking forward to going to because restaurants are opening up in Nairobi yeah. to a very high rate. I don't even understand how it's happening. Mm. Any three you've had good experiences? Oh. Cafe Kaya. Oh yeah, Cafe Kaya. Cafe Kaya is yes. is good. It's good, it's good yeah. yeah. Uh, Gecko, I loved Gecko. Gecko. Gecko tribe. Uh, Gecko. It's at Gigiri. Uh, love, yeah. Gigiri I haven't country. tried it yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, but it's, it's really good. good yeah. Mm-hmm. Josephine's, Josephine. the Jamaican restaurant. Yeah. They, what do they have there? What, what kind of food? Chicken, Jamaica, or Jack, Jack chicken, Jack chicken, yeah, yeah uh-huh. the rice yeah. and beans, mm. full Jamaican yeah, platter, really plantains, yeah, it was really good. So good, yeah. Uh, any extra ones you'd want to add, maybe? Uh, the taste of the meat. Big smoke, big Karen. Smoke. Yeah, the big smoke. Oh, yeah, where's big smoke? Because I've seen Karen. It. Just uh... wait, is it at waterfront? No, oh, it's not no, that one. No, 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 no. The hub. Where is it? Um. But because I know I've seen it like online somewhere, yeah. and I've just seen like is it a place where they do like the the yeah, meat no, that's the just falling on the bone? Oh, the yes. Actually, looking forward to uh, going there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to like even trying that as well. But yeah. the jack chicken, I have to try it. So, which other restaurants do you think you want to explore that you haven't? Mm, I don't Red know. ginger. Oh yeah. Red ginger. Red yeah. Ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Copper ivy. Copper ivy. But my problem is if I go to a nice rest- restaurant, like yeah. I, I will not want to go anywhere else. <laughs> oh, you're not that, oh, yeah. you're that person. Like, just I'll just be going back yeah, there. I'll just go back there. <laughs> <laughs> just to be safe. Uh, yeah. yeah. No, me, I, I do prefer exploring. Man. Nowadays yeah. I try, now. even like that's why I'm saying, like even my calendar I had put like, you know, trying different restaurants, maybe... Every end of the month, I just go somewhere mm-hmm. new and try yeah. try their food. Yeah. Of course, at times you have high expectations. Now it's just like you know, I could have cooked this at home. <laughs> it would have tasted Even way better, better yeah. way better. <laughs> I mean, you're just like ah, yeah. but it's all good. And mm-hmm. what about the food prices right now? Because you know, I think you know, the food costs in. I'd say, what do you think about the food pricing? Let's say in restaurants, mm-hmm. in general. In Nairobi, just you know, when you're dining out, I think for the places I've visited, I think they were fair. Mm-hmm. They were a bit on the high end, but they matched up to the food and the experience. How much mm-hmm. are we talking about? Uh, for one pa- for, for one, one person, person, if you're budgeting, yeah, like two thousand bob. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that was a like a good portion. A and good portion. Yeah, a good experience. I think like CJs have like really good portions. Yeah, that's yeah. what I've had. Yeah. I'm, yet to, <laughs> I'm yet to try. CJs, CJs will serve you food <laughs> and you'll be like, yo. What about the quality? Yeah. No, the quality is good. Because, uh, and I'll also say one thing also as well, like it's very hard to find, or maybe I haven't, like Somali restaurants that have, like bad service or bad food because there's mm. always somebody supervising first of all. Yeah. yeah. Any Somali restaurant you go to, there's always somebody CJ's who's just a watching. Somali restaurant. Sorry? CJ's. Yeah, I think so. It's not? I have no clue. It is. <laughs> it is run by Somalis. Oh, okay. Even if it's not owned, it's run by Somalis. Mm. That's why their service is the, when you go to CJ's, how long before somebody comes to serve you? And you'll just see somebody saying like there's somebody watching, like, that table over there, mm-hmm. like, it mm-hmm. won't even last a minute. Somebody's already on your table. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people are always at their best behavior. Mm-hmm. 
But you know, the other restaurants like owners just, you know. <laughs> the yeah. other stuff. You just walk in and you know, but you know, if you ever walked in a restaurant and people are actually, they're not even doing anything. Yeah. But they're not serving. You've <laughs> yeah, gone to true. a restaurant. I won't mention the name. Yeah. Uh-huh. I sat for 30 minutes. 30. No one came to serve me. And you can see them walking around, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> Next, Next to you, yeah. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just left. <laughs> you see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and it's not even about like the owners. Yeah. It's like the people who are there. The I've been in some places. That's what I'm saying. I'm always expecting bad service until you prove me wrong. And then I'll be like, what? Because even tipping, I don't tip at all. Mm-hmm. I just tell people I don't tip at all. But at times like when somebody's like, hey, and then back, I'm like, okay, this one, yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect this. Yeah. But I don't tip in restaurants because, like, one person, if this restaurant didn't treat me right, you also get punished for their mistakes. So I'm not <laughs> tipping you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 